So today I'm talking about a P0157 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0157 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit low voltage bank two sensor two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically, there's what's called oxygen sensors, and they're located down on the exhaust, and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion, and then the computer uses that information to adjust the air-fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0157 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with one of these, mainly with the Bank 2 Sensor 2 O2 sensor, and so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. And bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And when you get this P0157 code, the bank two side is going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. And basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that each bank of the engine usually has two O2 sensors. You're going to have sensor one that's located before the catalytic converter, sometimes called the upstream O2 sensor. And then you're also going to have the sensor two O2 sensor, sometimes called the downstream O2 sensor, that's going to be located after the catalytic converter and sometimes right on it. And again, when you get this P0157 code, it is this bank two sensor two that the computer's seeing a problem with. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0157 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this code is either that bank 2 sensor 2 O2 sensor has gone bad and needs to be replaced, or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. And there can be different types of sensors. There could be like two wire sensors, three wire sensors. These four wire sensors are very common. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, be sure to get a schematic for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But basically what's going on with the wiring and these sensors is that two wires are going to go to a heater element. And these O2 sensors can't get accurate readings until the sensor warms up. And so that the whole system doesn't have to wait for the engine to warm up and the exhaust to warm up. If they put these heater elements in, that'll help it quickly warm up. When this heater element goes bad or the heater element circuit, usually you'll get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0060 code, HO2S heater resistance bank 2 sensor 2, then that would point to some kind of issue going on with that heater element inside of there or the wiring going to that heater element. I made a whole video on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But usually when you get this P0157 code, it means that the voltage going back to the computer, that there's some kind of issue going on there and that the voltage on these two wires is low and not the heater element. If you have a multimeter, you can't go and check it with the multimeter. You can go and check the voltage on those two wires. You can look up what it's supposed to be and go and check it and be sure that it's correct. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, especially one that has live data inside of it, along with the graph function, then you can also go and test it with it. And basically, here's an example of Bank 2 Sensor 1, and then here's Bank 2 Sensor 2. And when you look at these O2 sensors, Sensor 1 should always be going up and down like this. And this is a correct reading. It should be going up and down, up and down like this, from positive voltage to negative voltage. So this is correct. And this Bank 2 Sensor 2 should be just reading straight flat, right in the middle. All the oxygen should be being burnt up inside of the catalytic converter, so it shouldn't be reading anything. It should be basically flat, right inside the middle. But if it's reading down here, if it's always low, which is what the computer's seeing, then that's a problem. There's some kind of issue going on there, and it needs to be troubleshooted. There's some good YouTube videos on this. I've made YouTube videos on this. And again, I'll put a link down below if you need to check those out. So basically, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. But the most common cause of this is either that that Bank 2 Sensor 2 O2 sensor's gone bad, or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of exhaust leak, or there's some kind of engine problem going on. And basically, there's an exhaust leak, then it can't throw those sensors off, and it can get them to get a bad reading. And so this can look like that there is a problem, but outside air is getting into the exhaust, and it's just throwing that sensor off, so it's just getting a bad reading. So be sure to keep a lookout for any kind of like exhaust leak up around those sensors. Also, if there's some kind of engine problem, mainly bank two side of the engine, like there's a bad injector or something like that, and it's causing the engine to run lean, then that can sometimes trigger this P0157 code. Usually if the engine is running lean, you're going to get a lot of other codes. You'll get like lean codes and things like that. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last things on the list that could cause this is going to be like an exhaust leak or there's some kind of engine problem. And so that's basically it. 
I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0157 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.